Made it to Born Free, here we are, Born Free 10. Hey, what's up guys? Matt Laidlaw here. Thanks for checking out my day at Born Free 10. I love this show. I go every year. So I met a bunch of my friends and co-workers at the Broken Yoke on Chapman in the city of Orange. And that kind of gives you a direct route to Irvine Lake to get to the show. So stopped off here at the Broken Yoke and met up with a bunch of my friends here. What's up, guys? So after we were done eating at the Broken Yoke, we headed east on Chapman, all the way east on Chapman. And then that crosses over the 241 here. And Chapman turns into East Santiago Canyon Road. Over the 241, you take this East Santiago Canyon Road, you take it in, and you get to Irvine Lake. Oh, they even have a little born free marker on the map right there. That's convenient. We had a group of about 10 bikes and as anybody knows who's ever ridden in a big group of motorcycles, it's kind of tough to keep everybody together but once we got together we all stayed together pretty much the entire way.
My first tip if you're going to go to the Born Free Show, get the grass pass. As you can see here, everyone that has the grass pass is going to the left. They're only $15 and that allows you to back, basically park inside the show on the grass. And it, it's just really cool. And part of the Born Free Show, I would say just as much as the builders bikes and the bikes that are technically in the show, the bikes that show up to the show are pretty awesome as well. So. There are just a ton of bikes to look at at the Born Free Show. Uh, the Born Free Show, what I like about it is that it's very much still a pure like enthusiast show. So you have a lot of the guys that are just you know, really ingrained in the motorcycle culture show, to, show up to the show. One of the things that people love about it is it's not real commercialized. Yes, the show has a lot of big name sponsors but it's still very much a homegrown grassroots show where you know, there's, it's not controlled by a lot of you know, corporate uh, agendas and you know, rules and things like that. So anyways, long story short, get the grass pass if you're gonna go, otherwise you're gonna be out on the dirt. You know, since I started doing the whole YouTube thing, I've gotten a lot of comments over the years, mostly on my videos in the comment section, of people just really wanting to know why people buy Harley Davidsons. And, you know, it's, it's mostly the skeptics. And I usually try to tell people, and there's a lot beyond the stat sheet that you get in a Harley Davidson. There, there's a lot beyond just the machine that you get. You're, you're really, you're becoming part of a culture and you know it sounds cheesy and I feel kind of cheesy saying it but you know events like this and just becoming you know part of the atmosphere here at this show and you you really can't do that on any other bike I mean a show like this and just you know an awesome rally like this there's really only one bike that can really generate this type of event and don't get me wrong there's plenty of other motorcycles at the born free show but you know everything really comes together because of harley davidson and the majority of all the bikes that are at the show you know, i'd say probably 90 percent or more are all harley davidson's so when i have the opportunity to kind of illustrate that point uh, I take it. So this is definitely one of those moments where it's like, yeah, this is only possible because of Harley Davidson. And experiencing an event like this on any bike other than a Harley Davidson, you know, I, I just wouldn't want to do it personally. So my group totally lucked out. We must have just had the perfect timing because we actually were able to park front row right inside the show. I guess the row to our right filled up. And so we were the first bikes in the new row and we were parked right next to the main vein to get in and out of the show. So it was pretty cool. We got front row parking with the grass passes. So, you know, we were basically parked right inside the show, so everything was really easy to access and coming to and from our bikes for, you know, water or gear or whatever was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's a winning ticket, I'll take it. Did you get a flat? What happened? Dude, I'm riding next to him, and I'm seeing his front end wobbling, and like the, the beat is off. Yeah, roll it back if you can. The beat is off? Oh yeah, the beat's off of there. Hey, can I push it back? On the road repairs. Keep going a little bit. Who, who's air pump is that? Right there. Uh, Brian. Hey. This is how I work on my day off. Dude, man. Jamie, always working. <laughs> <laughs> always, always saving somebody's <laughs> bike. Hey. I know, it's getting pretty high pressure. Hey. Jamie, throw some beer on the beach. We're lubricated. <laughs> no days off. Every year at Born Free, they have a Dyna slash FXR show. This is the southeast corner of the show. Right when you drive in, it's to the left. We have not met, but I watch your videos all the time. I live okay. in Japan. That's oh, cool. Fan. I'm watching it. I love it. This was my favorite part of the show this year. Harley Davidson gave out, I believe, six of the brand new 2018 Softails to some really good builders. And these builders made some real cool, unique creations here. This first one is San Diego Customs. They put together like an adventure style motorcycle here. And I mean, as you can see, they modified the whole thing. 
most of the guys picked fat bobs. I think there's a few breakouts in here as well. Uh, I watched the video where the builder was talking about what bike he started with, and he uh, said a sport touring bike. So I, I'm assuming maybe a sport glide. I, I don't know what, what this started off as. It looks like maybe a fat bob too. So, although he said he didn't take the fat bob, so I really don't even know what this bike started off as. So now we're going to move into the vintage Harley Davidson and other motorcycles section of the show right behind the stage here. And the vintage bikes are really what put Born Free on the map and really what they're, it's known for. I commonly refer to the Born Free show kind of as the Woodstock of Harley Davidson shows. Another one of the big attractions to the show is the amount of vendors that show up and it's a lot of the cool vendors that do aftermarket exhaust, suspension, brakes and you know there's a lot of the you know kind of cheap vendors as well but yeah a lot of your your really good exhaust brands and everything come out to this show so yeah you got a lot of the high-end guys that are the big boys in the aftermarket world for Harley Davidson and, and Indian motorcycles and you know any other American cruiser.
How are you? Good. Your videos inspired me, bro. Awesome. I got a Street Glide special. Well, hey, you know, when I hear things like that where I inspire people to buy bikes, I mean, that's what I do it. So, yeah. yeah. Appreciate, appreciate you saying hi. Yeah, for sure, man. It's unreal meaning. This is kind of a cool aspect of the show as well. At least the last few years, Vans comes out and puts up their half pipe and they have a bunch of like legendary skaters come out here and put on a show for us. So that about does it for the Born Free 10 show guys. I'm going to be heading out now. I was here for about 4 or 5 hours. It, the temperature was okay but it was a little bit on the hot side but that's alright. And every year I come to this it gets a little bit better every year I feel like. A little bit more well attended, a little bit more involvement with you know, different brands and you know more bikes and everything. So. Definitely a show that I'll, I'll continue to attend every year that it's open. That and it's so close to my house that it's hard not to come. Uh, on the way home, uh, I'm going to be heading south on Santiago Canyon Road since I live in San Clemente. And the, that canyon road is actually pretty cool. Uh, and that's kind of part of the appeal of this show as well. Riding to and into the show is a lot of fun. So definitely take your motorcycle if you plan on coming to the show in the future. And I'm going to be going by another pretty popular a biker hangout hotspot which is Cook's Corner and I'm sure a lot of you have actually been to Cook's Corner that live in Southern California but on on this day I went to Born Free Show it was definitely crowded there were a lot of people at Cook's Corner another spot that I know a lot of people were swinging by on this Sunday was Hell's Kitchen up Ortega Highway so a lot of people were making a, a full day a day ride out of this this Sunday so they hit up the Born Free, they hit up Cook's Corner, and they hit up Hell's Kitchen all in one day. So, uh, yeah, fun packed day. Uh, probably one of the, the busiest, most you know sightseeing riding Sundays of the year in Southern California is on, on the day when they do the Born Free show. <laughs> As you can see, Cook's Corner was completely packed. Just a bunch of overflow bikes coming and going to the Born Free 10 show. I was gonna stop, but I said, nah, I'm not gonna fight the crowds anymore. So I just kept going. But yeah, it was probably the most crowded I've ever seen it.
So that's it for my Born Free 10 2018 video guys. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do a ton of Harley Davidson motorcycle content. So if you have a bike or are thinking about getting a bike, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of informational videos teaching people about Harley Davidson's and the products and different bikes and helping people find the bike that's best for them. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you liked about this video and let me know what you didn't like about this video and let me know in the comments below what types of videos you'd like to see in the future. And if you're looking for a Harley Davidson in the Southern California area, hit me up. Thanks guys, bye.